the first thing we need to do in this example is create a pivot table so again we highlight the data we insert a pivot table I'm going to create a new worksheet just check it's okay I'm going to say okay so we've now got our pivot table I'm just going to make it a bit bigger the next thing is we want to create a pivot table that will show by employee na name the leave type taken so we're going to take the employee name put it into rows we want to take the leave type taken over here and I think we're going to put it over here you'll see it looks like that depending whether you want it in compact or tabular I'm just going to change mine to tabular format so it looks like that and then we want to know how many days total days put it into values and working days put it into here what it then asks is look at the month taken split it into months so you'll see I've got a start date if I pull it in here in this version of Excel it automatically groups it into months but let's just ungroup it and what you would do here then is you'd come you right click you say group you choose months and when we say OK it looks like that just make these a bit smaller and the last thing it says is sort in descending order based on working days so I'm going to sort it based on the people we go to more sort options descending and what we want to do is the working days this one over here and when I say OK you'll see it goes it looks like that I'm just gonna make this smaller again and this then should match your solution the only difference is we've left currently the annual total in to get rid of that it's quite simple I can right click go to field settings and say no subtotals and when I say OK we've now got that if I want I can also change that to say total days and this one will say working days and there we've got that report the next part of the question asks to create a new pivot table now a quick way is if I've created a pivot table on a sheet if I hold my control key down click and drag to the right when I let go it creates a copy of that sheet which includes the pivot table We've now asked for a new um, report in a graphic format. Sometimes it's a good idea just to clear everything in there. You'll see it just warns you that it's using a similar type of um, information. I'm just going to say clear the pivot table, go in here. So now what we want to do is take the average leave taken. So the first thing I'm going to do is put it into values and change it to be average. We now know we want to split it by leave type. So I'm going to put leave type over here, I think. And then we want to do it by month. So if I take the start date and pull it down here, in this version of Excel, it automatically groups it in months. In some versions, what should happen, it should look like that. And you then need to group it in months. So we've got a group, call it months, so OK. So you'll see that's what the report looks like. But now we need to go into a pivot chart, choose the one we want. So we think it's that one. And when I say OK, you'll see it should look something like that.